How would you like to completely automate your Craigslist listings? In this short video, I'm going to share how to effectively create the listing on Craigslist, but more importantly, my three favorite tips to take mini chat and attach a chat bot to those listings so it completely automates your real estate business. Hello, I am John Smart. I go by Smarty and welcome to the ProEdge Marketing Channel, where I provide technology tips and strategies for realtors and investors to make this the best decade ever. So if you do like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Now, if you think about places to advertise, I'm a big proponent of advertising across different media. I do on this channel, I'm gonna share with you strategies around Facebook advertising. We're gonna look at things like Marketplace, but Craigslist is also one of those other fantastic platforms to put your houses up there. So if you're a flipper at the end of the flip, throw that house up there. If you're a landlord as an investor and you're looking for renters, put it up on, the, on Craigslist, you're gonna find those renters. And if you're a realtor, all your listings should be pushed, pushed up there and I'll have a video to uh, show other techniques and strategies to automate the listing. Let's dive in and let me show you how to set up ManyChat properly so that we can attach that to a Craigslist ad. And then I'll jump over to Craigslist and actually show you how to build the listing. So I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, starting out on the ManyChat side, I'm going to show you how to set up the flows so that you can take advantage of connecting those and my three favorite ways here to put it, attach it to the actual Craigslist ad. So that's gonna be a very important step here. Um, to save us time, I already built uh, a couple different flows. So if I type in the word Craigslist, um, I have two flows I'm gonna be uh, showing you here. Now, uh, if you don't have these in your ManyChat account, uh, there's a new button up here where you can create these flows and creating them are very easy. I'll have other videos that go into more depth of. Uh, the flow builder inside of many chat uh, to train you on those areas. Um, but for time savings, I have the two flows ready to go. Sharing my three favorite methods. Uh, the first met method is having a QR code. So I want them to be able to scan a code. And uh, if there's anything that could be good to say about the COVID-19 world we live in, it's a very bad virus and it's been a disruptive world. Um, but the only good thing about it is QR codes, in my opinion. Um, people now, uh, QR codes are back vogue, so people know what they are. Most restaurants have a QR code on the table. You scan it and bang, the menu pops up. So we're going to take advantage of that with a Craigslist ad as a realtor or an investor by putting a QR code in the ad, and then they take their phone out, they scan it, and they'll come into the chat bot. The second way that we're going to do it is through a URL. So we'll put the URL in the ad uh, and take advantage of the ref URL that ManyChat offers to get them in the bot. And the third way to do it is through the text response. So I'm gonna show you how to set up a SMS text message so that if they text the word to your bot phone number, it will come into the flow. So let's first start with the QR code and the URL. You can create a single flow to take them in. So I have a, um, a flow that I use um, here. And uh, every flow has uh, what's called the starting step. So if I hit the edit button here, uh, on the top right of Flow Builder, I have my starting step and I'm calling this from a variety of places. But what I'm gonna do here is I'll just show you what I've set up. So the first one, you could add a new trigger here. Uh, and when you hit a trigger, uh, you can say all triggers. And basically the ones I used was I used a ref URL and then uh, down here I used the QR code. So uh, you'll get to see those in a minute. So uh, back here, I have uh, my ref URL. So if I click on this, um, ManyChat has created the URL for me. So, but one trick I'll show you is if you didn't have that in there and I hit save, you're going to get the, uh, the, the uh, just ugly number in the URL and that's not real friendly. So uh, I have an apartment that I'm looking to rent in the Philly area. So this is uh, the post I'm going to do for you. Um, so I'll, I'm going to put in rent now as the rep uh, parameter. And then that's what's in this URL. We'll copy that to the clipboard because I'll be putting that inside the Craigslist ad. Now, of course, you could also use a URL shortener. So if you bought your own domain and you do shorteners, I'm a big fan of that. Um, I'll have other videos in my channel shortly that will go over shortener strategies. Um, so you could have a nice friendly uh, uh, URL that you share with buyers and sellers and stuff. We'll cover that in, 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 in other videos. So that's the first method is the URL. The second method is a QR code. So uh, ManyChat allows you to create a QR code. 
So I'm with EXP Realty. So, um, uh, you know, I always put my logo in the middle of the QR code. Um, right here, you can click and uh, you can go out to your desktop and, and, and find your logo and upload it. So it's very easy to bring in your logo or maybe a picture of you. You can decide what you want to put in the QR code if you want a picture in the QR code. Um, uh, in the case of many chat for QR codes, they go from 100 to 2000 pixels. I use QR codes and I teach QR codes all over the real estate business. Um, so if you have a listing and a for sale sign in front of your house, put a QR code on it now because most people know what that is. You can share the listing details and have them put an offer in right through the bot. Um, uh, I have realtors and investors that will get door magnets and put it on the side of their car. Um, we buy houses or, or so forth or a bandit sign and put a QR code on that. So it depends on the, the, where you're placing the QR code will determine how big of a QR code you need um, so that when somebody's standing pretty far away from your sign or so, they can still scan it. But I see that uh, mo most images I use are a 200 pixel. So you put that in. They also have a, uh, a link here to uh, uh, clean up the background image. So if there's a background image in the logo, it just tightens it up a little bit. And then here's where you can pick your colors. So um, I, I use being an EXP or I like to use the EXP colors. So we're this blue and orange. So I actually put the hex code for uh, the specific color combinations for EXP um, in the front and back. So I have a nice QR code. And then what I would do is just download this to my desk and I'd have that QR code. Now, uh, once I have those set up, I'm ready to start creating the ad. Now, before I create the ad, I'll stay on ManyChat. I'll quickly show you how to create the text to your phone number. That is using what's called keywords here. So over here in the keywords with ManyChat, um, this is where we're gonna set up the words that we're gonna use or have the bot listen to so that um, when they type that word and send it to your phone number, the chat bot will start talking. So over in here, we have a new keyword uh, button here. Um, and uh, I can select the channel I want right here. And what I'm gonna do is create an SMS word. And let's say I wanted to uh, call it uh, rent now. Um, so I'll put in what I just showed you a minute ago. So if the word is rent now, um, they, they text the word rent now um, to uh, the system. Um, I can then select what flow do I wanna put them in? So I'll go in and grab my Craigslist flow and I have a text response flow here um, uh, that I'm gonna send them into. I also did another one in my, in my real estate business. I use you know, text the word rent or buy, uh, and you'll see that I'm using a contains instead of an is. So if somebody texts, I wanna rent or I wanna buy, um, uh, it'll find that buy in the, in the text and then the bot will kick off. So over here, I'm, I'm firing up a Craigslist response. Why I'm on here, I'll just drill in to show you what the, resp uh, the response looks like. Um, when you do a, uh, an SMS response, a text keyword, you'll see that the starting step has those, two, uh, those keywords, the one I just created in the rent and buy, that's gonna start. Um, I always use these tags in many chats. So I did a uh, message tag that says a text message lead. So I know that they text me. And when they text it, uh, I'm responding back to them with an SMS. So they're on their phone, they text the word rent to the phone number, automatically on their phone, they'll get a text response from the chat bot um, back in their SMS. So it says, thanks for reaching out to your company. Um, we, we're here to help you sell your house for top dollar, assist you in finding a dream home. And then I automatically go to the next step and say my assistant, and I use, the, I use a lot of system fields in, in my ProEdge chat bot package. I have the uh, chat bot's name. So it'll say I'm Dar. Uh, my bot is it's called Darby in the Pro Edge world. So I'll say I'm Darby bot. Just uh, uh, my assistant Darby bot just sent you a message on uh, Facebook Messenger. So you want to let them know that you know uh, the bot is going to start talking to them. And in the ad copy, I also put that in. So they have full expectation when they do the text that they need to qualify or, or register inside a Messenger. You want to be very transparent to the person on the ad. And then I just have a click here to begin. And I, I put a link in here in the text and then basically I'm opening up the Craigslist flow. So I'm double dipping, I'm, I'm using that same flow that had the QR code and URL. And then what I did in that flow was I called the actual flow that will um, either show the listing or show the open house or the rental program or whatever you wanna call from this flow. Um, you can call these subflows and uh, take them into the questions. So that's basically how it works.
Now, before I jump over to Craigslist, I'll show you how to get your phone number for this third method I'm showing. You come over here to settings and you come down here to SMS and in many chat, they assign a phone number to you. So this is the phone number you're gonna have them text to. So you're gonna say, text the word rent now to this phone number and see if you qualify for my, my rental property. Um, so that's basically the method we're using in uh, many chat. Now let me jump over to Craigslist and I'll create the Craigslist ad and I'll show you how I put it in the copy. So you can see A, how to create a Craigslist ad if you don't know how to do it. And then B, how to uh, put these three methods in the copy so that you get lots of people responding to you and let the chat bot do all the working for you. So let's head over to Craigslist and uh, I'll show you how that works. So over here in Craigslist, I'm in the Philadelphia area. So this is my version of Craigslist. Uh, of course, over here, you can go to different cities, wherever you're located, you're gonna anchor your Craigslist. You'll set up an e If you don't have a Craigslist account, it's real easy to set up a username and password or um, email and password. Uh, when you first come in, it'll ask you where are you located. So uh, you'll pick your country, your city, your your state, your city, uh, and then um, that's where most of the ads are going to be shown. So over in here, I'm in the Philly area nearby, but you'll see I have all these uh, you know Pocono Mountains and Allentown local area, South Jersey. I could pick different cities, and then these are all the things for sale. But what I want to show you now is how to quickly uh, go to your account, and uh, we'll create I'll, I'll create a post. So uh, what I'm gonna do is let me come back in here. You'll Up in here, you have create post and you have my account. So if I go to my account for a second, I have these active listings running. Uh, I have a couple different apartments in the Philly area I'm promoting as a realtor and an investor. Um, uh, so over in here, these are my, my listings. But what I wanna do is show you how to create a brand new listing. So up in here, you say create a post and what's gonna happen in, in Craigslist is it's gonna now start walking like in a wizard setting up this particular post. Uh, because this is a rental, I'm gonna go down here and say housing offered. And then the next window comes up and I'm gonna say it's a house for rent because I have an, a house for rent. And now I have the form to start filling out the details. So if I switch over real quick, I have a, uh, an ad already built so you don't have to see my clumsy typing. So I'm gonna advertise this as uh, in the post title as executive homes for rent. I'm gonna put the zip code um, that this particular property is located in. And then the last thing I'll do is I'll grab my text. So I have a nice organized in, in, in Keynote, I'm a Mac user. I'm just gonna copy that text and I'll paste it in right here. Now, when you paste it in, uh, sometimes you gotta look at the formatting, make sure um, you know that uh, that you're getting the right format, I'll say with an option to purchase, because I'm going to give them an option to purchase when they buy, uh, when they uh, rent the house from me. Um, but this is where the magic is. So in the copy, I say access full details of the house and see if you qualify on Facebook Messenger. So I'm telling them I have an executive house for rent, um, talking about the program. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, instruct them that they have to get the details and qualify on Facebook Messenger. And then I give them instructions on how to get there. So they can either scan the code, text rent or buy to the number, or I could have done the rent uh, the rent now. So uh, uh, what I was showing you earlier, I could just say text uh, rent now um, or buy to that number. So either one would pick up. And then I have a go to and there's that URL that I showed you on the many chat side. So I'm giving the person three ways to get to me. I don't want them to call my personal number. I don't want them to send me emails. I want them to go into the chat bot. So my chat bot completely automates my real estate business. Let the chat bot do all the filtering and then deliver the leads to me through many chat. And I like to use SMS text back to me. Once I have the text in there, now I fill out the other details. So my rental unit is going for $16.50 a month. The square footage I know is 22 or uh, 2135. I'm going to go down and I put put in it's a house. It has in-house laundry. It has a garage. It's three bedroom, two and a half bath. It's got hardwood floors. And the rental period is going to be yearly I'm si signing. And I am going to tell them it's pet and uh, dog friendly. And I'll put the availability date. I want to get them in as soon as possible. So I'll put Feb 1. Um, down in here, if there's a broker fee or an application fee, you can put it in. If not, you can skip this. And then we will click uh, continue. 
Now it just verifies the location of where the ad is. And then I hit continue. And then I have an opportunity to load my images. So loading the images will take you out to your desk. So if I go to my desktop here, um, I have a, a, a image here that I will show you right here. So I'll grab that image. Now this is where the QR comes into play because you can actually put a QR code in the copy of a Craigslist ad. So what I do is I cheat a little bit. What I do is I use Canva and I'll have a video specifically on Canva. It's one of my favorite tools to create images. And I have this house for rent and uh, I put the kitchen in the house and then I put the QR code that I downloaded from ManyChat right in the picture with a scan me button. So then I hit done. So now I have my beautiful listing. Uh, what Craigslist will do is take your price and your beds and baths and or bedrooms and then the square footage and it appends it to what my title is. So now they have this nice ad that they can now uh, post. And when I'm done, there's a publish button and I'm off to the races. So now I'm going to watch my leads come in and I'm going to watch that chat bot do its magic using these three methods. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, consider subscribing as I'm going to try to have weekly videos for you. Um, and uh, in the comments, let me know if there's specific subjects you want me to cover. I'm a technologist by heart. I'm a realtor and investor as well. And uh, I love to help people. So I'm here. I have your back. And let's make this the best decade ever.